Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to give you guys like a first day impressions uh, of my time in Revelation, which is a new MMO that's coming out, which I believe is being published by My.com, which is the same people that published Skyforge. So first off, uh, I want to just go over a couple quick things before I get into combat. Uh, I would like to state that um, I am going to be like completely brutal and say the game is very, 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 very... Uh, uh, simple it's very when you first start questing it's pretty much the same as literally any mmo that you would play which i really don't like i just played mu legends recently which is like a quest grind but at least like it, the quests are simple it's like go kill 100 bobs done here because the beta is in english russian and chinese like all three combined you just don't really know what the fuck you're doing maybe that's just me it totally could just be me um, so thankfully I got to a spot where I think I can actually demonstrate and show you guys some combat. But questing aside, I will say that the game does have kind of like a Blade and Soul theme to it. A lot of the character models look like it's, like, you know, it's Blade and Soul. Uh, the combat doesn't play like it though. The combat's pretty smooth. Uh, there is an option up at the top to do like... I don't remember how to enable it. I thought it was this, but I guess not. There's three different modes you can play on. You have like tab target, true action, and there's another one. Um, but the thing is, is a lot of the game is tab target based. So even if you're playing on true action mode, you would have to like face the target, which kind of temporarily locks on when you're fighting. And I'll kind of show you guys right now uh, with the mode that I've got set on. Oh, okay. Can I not hit this guy? Is my, why can't I attack? Yo. What? Um, there I jump. Can I, can I attack now? Um, is this like a 30 second silence? Team? Team. Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. What the fuck am I doing wrong? Why can't I attack? Why? Let me attack! <laughs> I think I'm supposed to just survive, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. What the, well, we have 12 seconds left on this quest, and then uh, I'll see what happens. No. Did I... Alright, they're telling me that I did a good job. Okay. I got a reward. You got okay. I don't know where I'm going now. We're going. We're going somewhere though, team. Um, a piece of equipment. Use. I don't know what the fuck I just got. See, here's the Russian. <laughs> the Russian's coming out here. Okay. Can I click it? Low level equipment will cost nothing to use. Uh, what does this do? Okay. I don't know. All right. Um, can I pick this up? Alright, can I turn any of these in? No. What is number two? Can I go to number two? Okay, so here's one cool thing about the game is the flying. The flying is actually really, really nice, and the whole game is based around, like, auto-movement pathing. And I really like auto-movement, especially in a beta where I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. I think it's a really, really good thing to implement. Uh, all characters can sprint, so coming from MU Online, I don't really want to compare them because they're different, or MU Legends, completely different. So, let me see where I'm going exactly. Um, I want to just give you guys like a burst of movement speed really fast. The other cool thing is when you're auto-moving, it'll even go through a teleporter for you, like it just did for me, which I think is really solid. So here would be like the flying, for example. That's, I mean, that's pretty nice, right? Like, the dimension, or the, the ability to kind of just literally do whatever you want with the freedom, I think makes it really solid. Um, one other really cool option with the graphics, I don't normally go into this, but there's a really cool option you can change. Um, if you go into, is it, I might, I might be full screen. Okay, look, you can change kind of like the shaders in your game. So you can go with like standard, let me see if this works, apply. Okay, we can go soft, we can go ink, new. Fresh, dark, or whatever this is, which I thought was was really cool. Like the ability to kind of change 
I guess the game that you were playing, like how it looks. Like this is completely different from what I was just doing. The game looks like it looks so green now. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is complete. This. I want to show you guys some combat. I don't know how to do anything with fighting though. I can't really control that. To be honest, there's like almost no fighting involved with the questing at all, which sucks. You literally just quest from like I don't know. I guess you could grind at some some certain levels. Um, but, like, the questing is literally, like, go talk to this Asian dude over here. Now go sp speak Russian to the guy as well. Alt space to use wings. Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to fall down and use wings? Uh, frame rate wise and stuff, the beta itself got really laggy. Um, but the actual core game itself seems like it's optimized pretty well. I mean, I'm streaming here at pretty much max settings with, I'd like to say, like, 60 FPS. Well, recording now, but... All the same, right? You'll be teleported upon accepting. Sure. I don't know where I'm going. I just want to fight. Can I fight something? No. No fighting yet. Okay. Can I fight now? No. Alright, how about... Can I fight now? Level 1 cross maps are not available. Can I go here? Alright. We're going again, boys. Can I fight yet? <laughs> can I can I fight mobs yet? I don't even like my class, by the way. I'm playing something called an occultist. Where did all my hotkeys even go? Like, oh, it's because I'm flying, I think. Um, quest, quest, quest complete. Okay. Auto Where am I going? Here? Okay. And I'm going all the way over there again. Okay. This is a, a prime example of what questing was like throughout this entire game. Um, except for the dailies. The dailies uh, is actual like combat fighting. I don't remember how to get back to the dailies though. Uh -huh. Time to fly back again, team! I know this may not be the most, like, entertaining video, but I really wanted to show you guys exactly, like, what the questing was like. And if I can actually get to do some combat, that would be some- that would be really cool. If I don't get to do combat, I guess I'll just, like, show you the skill effects on the floor, which would suck, but, you know, that's life. I can always just put up another video with some combat. I guess I can go over the equipment system while I kind of walk around. Uh, the inventory sucks, it gets full really fast, uh, from, what I've, from what I've noticed. Uh, you do get stat points to distribute, and I don't know exactly how the skill tree works. I just know that my skills have been leveling up. I don't know if like the game has automatically been putting points into it. It does look like you have multiple specs you can use, which is cool. Um, you even have multiple specs you can use for your stats. So you can actually like immediately just change all your stats, which is pretty cool. Which you can see under C. Uh, you can see the stats right here. I'm actually gonna go uh, full dex. Easy. Apply. Okay. Um. Do this. Can I not do this? In the hot springs. Wait. Into the hot spring and wake up, adept Quinn. Where is adept Quinn? I think I have a new quest to turn in. No? Okay, so here's another example of a quest that's bugged that uh, leads me into a corner. Okay, it looks like Adam Quinn is already in the hot springs. See if you can wake him up. Okay, where exactly are the hot springs? Um, is this... Is, is it in here? Maybe do I have to go inside here? The hot springs? Is this... Is this it? The higher the demon slayer, I didn't see that. Oh my god, can I fight? No allowed flying. Oh. You guys like my uh, Kappa Pride character? <laughs> no, don't leave the area, just, just... Oh, there he is. So I think the hot spring is where you get your rested XP. Which I should have been doing, but I'm a slacker, you know, boys? Uh, so reach 35, that's my new quest. 
<laughs> okay, I need to figure out. I need to figure out where this is. Repel pirates and floating puffers in the sunken galleon's bowl. I also don't know what this is. Can I just teleport here? Oh, okay. So these are the dailies. I think that you can do. So this might actually work out well. I might be able to show some combat, boys. Explore Darkfall. Okay, yeah, this is a dungeon. Daily tokens. Um, scour dungeons. Today, 40 out of 250 monsters. Okay. Character XP can upgrade character level. Okay, here we go. At levels 20, 40, 55, there are Black Empress, Green Emperor, Red Emperor, Raid Challengers, respectively. Challenge these... Uh, challenge these raids up to three times. Single person? Single person raids? Looks like you can go up to level 79. Max level in the beta is 49, though. Oh, is it time? Is it time to go in? Um, so I guess we're going in here. Uh, yes, go in. Confirm. Alright, I really don't like my character and I haven't read too much about it, but I'll give you guys a quick little synopsis of how my character works. So I'm playing an occultist, and I can shift from damage to healing. If you look at my keybinds, you'll see it'll change. So this would be healing, this would be damage. Healing, damage. Alright, cool. Easy game. Uh, my one is like a, is like a little auto-attack bird shit. My two is a delayed damage over time. My three is a channeling, pretty decent single target skill, which heals me if I channel it the whole way. My four is kind of like an AoE on the floor that does damage. Uh, my 5 is uh, is playing basically putt-putt. Uh, you can see uh, there's the ball and I can detonate it. My 6 puts a totem on the floor that buffs uh, damage. And my 7 detonates the totem to deal AoE damage. Those are my skills for right now. Why won't you cast? There we go. So the way this works is, because uh, I did this yesterday, but I guess it's scaled to my level now because it says it's for level 30. Uh, this is the daily, and uh, you pretty much just go through waves and kill the mobs. It's the same same mobs that you fight, like the same missions, I guess you could say, but they do scale to your level. Now you also have another category of skills. So like, at this top bar, you can see... Uh, I've got this other resource to generate. I don't know what it is. And basically, whenever I use skills, it generates this resource. And it allows me to use this top bar of skills. So this left side would be for offense, and the right side would be for defense. And I think here you're supposed to kill all the mobs. Nice 40k HP though. Oh my god. No, 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 no. 30 seconds left. Please, what is this CC? I don't know what that is. Oh, that's where I need to go after, I think. Oh my god, I'm so slow! No! What is this? Yo, pick up all the stuff. Let's go. Pick it up. Pick it up. How do I... Yo, let me... Let me jump down. I think... I don't know if I failed that or not. I don't know if that said good or bad. I'm gonna assume it said bad. The game does have these occasional lag spikes, which, like, you could see right now, which is sad because, like, the game is super, super smooth.
I'm gonna face tank it, face tank it! Okay, that didn't do anything good. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, that looks mad. She just teleported me? She swapped positions with me. I think this is like fighting a clone of yourself. Hey, level 31, boys. Oh, this one sucks. This one, the goal is to survive. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Thirty seconds, boys. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. No. 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 Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, what is this one? This is to kill this guy? This is the OP beetle dude. The hitbox on this guy is extremely misleading. Um, I don't really know how it works. Considering how every time he just jumps it kind of hits me. Should not face tank that. Alright, cool. And then I think there's like one or two more. Oh, I should have healed first. That wasn't smart. Oh, it heals me. And finish. Right. I think I failed that. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell a lot with this game, actually. <laughs> Demented so much? I might be not reading like some synergy between some of my skills. Oh, 
Oh, she gets mad. Stop getting XP or something. I feel like I'm not getting any more e XP fights. Ow! Why does she do so much more damage than me? Yo! I think I'm dead. Yeah, okay. I couldn't dodge anything there. I should've just tried to like face tank and heal it. I think that was the last one. Ascension gives you a massive EXP boost. Alright guys, so that's pretty much uh, all I've got to show you guys with Revelation. Of course, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or whatnot, you can drop it down below. People are gonna ask about the cash shop. I don't know, man. You guys know my, my rules. I don't touch the cash shop until I hit endgame, because that's all that matters to me. Um, or, you know, towards the end of the beta, when I actually don't have anything to do, then I'll go over it, because uh, it doesn't really make sense to look at the cash shop and pretend like you know what something is when you don't understand the economy of the game. So that's pretty much going to be it for now. Hope you boys enjoyed yourself. Remember, I am playing the Occultist class, and uh, if you're curious to check it out, you can check out this game at Revelation. Uh, you can just Google it. It's from uh, my.com currently. Anyway, hope you boys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all later. Take care, everybody.